I try to picture myself in middle school. I try to remember my teachers. The teachers that I remembered more were the teachers that had personalities and the teachers that got to know me. But they don't remember history by the end of the day. That's not a big deal to me. It's more about how I make them feel in the classroom. Mr. John Tran is a young, dynamic teacher. He's always willing to take part. He's always a super positive collaborator in those things, but when you watch him in the classroom is where you really get to see him shine. I first met Tran, we interviewed him two years ago, uh, virtually. Uh, we had 175 applicants for three positions in, in the Anaheim Union High School District. With speaking to John Tran, it seemed like uh, he was speaking from the heart. I started off working on a summer camp, and that's what got me into teaching. I really like interacting with the students. So it wasn't really about the subject I taught, it was more about my interactions with them, not only inside the classroom, but outside of the classroom. You ask John Tran what he teaches, he's gonna say, I teach kids, you know, that's, that's his clientele. That's key to being a successful teacher in, in middle school. He just helps to make the, the school culture a better place for, for all of us. Can someone name one great artist from the Renaissance time period and what something they did, yes? Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, the Mona Lisa. Oh, excellent. With the students myself, I'm a little sarcastic. I don't like tell them directly how I feel about them, but I do write them letters throughout the year to show how much I appreciate them. Every year he writes handwritten letters to all his students, so over 100 letters, and he does that multiple times a year. If it leaves an impression on at least like 10% of the kids, I'm, I feel like I'm doing something right. Kids respond to that because they know he cares way past 2.30. John exemplifies what we're trying to do in the classroom. He also, on his own, started a builder's club where he's got a group of about 20 kids that one day a week, all they do is help out wherever it's needed on campus. John Tran is indispensable. My goal for them is happiness, and that's what I strive for them. Their long-term goal is happiness. And I tell them they can do that by embracing the past, focusing on the present, and working for the future, and doing what it takes to honor their parents and honor their communities. It could be entertaining, uh, but yeah, we learn at the same time. And Mr. Chan's a good teacher. Mr. Chan's a really, really great teacher. We were just going about our regular lesson on the scientific revolution, and then the Honda people came in. Hello! I, I think he was actually in shock. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm good, good, good. I was just like, kind of caught off guard, you know. Well, it's Teacher Appreciation Week, uh -huh. and your wife, Catherine, nominated you to be honored for our Southern California Helpful Honda oh. Teacher Appreciation Award. Great. And we are donating $5,000 oh. worth of classroom materials for you. supplies like pencils, expo markers, you know, those will all be put to good use. These are flexible seatings for my, for my students. I gotta test it out. Oh. His students will benefit from everything that was in there. It was amazing. Oh, wow, awesome. John, I'm so happy for you. You know how I feel about you personally and professionally. We're so happy to work with you every day. John, you're hilarious and you deserve it all and I think you will continue to impact so many people's lives through your teaching. To see you in action is a thing of joy, it's a thing of beauty, and you've really brought yourself to Dale Junior High School and for that, I am grateful. Thank you, SoCal Honda!